Okay, guys, I'm going to show you something today. I'm going to show you, how, hopefully, hopefully, if I don't, if it doesn't work, then I guess I'm going to have to do it again. So, I'm winding a bobbin, and this happened. I don't know if you guys can see it. See that? I can't sew with that. All this stuff here, it's barely, it's barely, barely vis visible air. It barely, barely. Okay, I can't sew with that. I've got almost a full bobbin. This is all the thread I've got left of this. I have to go to, the, it's too late to go to the store. Stores are closed. It's like, I don't know what it is, almost nine o'clock at night, whatever. So I have to fix this. I have to see what I can do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to wind everything back on the bobbin. I'm going to show you, I'm just showing you guys how to fix this. I'm just showing you guys how to fix because I know that um, thread is expensive. And I know that in some areas thread is hideously expensive. I tried to, um, I tried, I tried to do it. There's a couple of, if you notice this stuff right away, sometimes you can just like take care of it while it's still doing that. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to wind this on. Back on. By hand. Okay. This is the bobbin winder. That's where the bobbin goes when you're winding a bobbin. This is where your thread goes. Normally your thread goes here. Okay. So I think you guys... You guys are already seeing where this is going. So I am going to take my bobbin and put it here. Okay. I'm going to put this down. All the way down. I'm going to do that. I have a spare bobbin here. So basically, basically, I am just going to rewind this onto a fresh bobbin. I don't think this is difficult to explain or to do or to whatever. So you take your you take your thread and instead of running it down this end through all the works, this machine has a why are you not going there? Has a little catch there and a little catch there and I'm just putting it through there properly. And then the bobbin itself, this particular bobbin has a little space right there. And I'm gonna thread it on. This I I promised myself that whenever I have unique Where's the hole? There's the hole. Find a spot with a hole. Different. There are some people. Some people hand wind it on for the first few turns and then do it that way. But I just, I just use that and thread it through that through the little hole that's already in the bobbin. That's already been put through there. I put that there. I'm gonna put that down so it's out of the way. And now, I'm going to. Because I already know that this is screwed up, and it might catch. I'm going to. Is my hand in the way? Okay. My hand is up and over. Normally I would be a little bit more comfortable here, but I'm doing this. Psst. Push it into place. Okay, so that's normal. I'm going to hold the thread here. And I'm going to go... Okay, so most machines... Let me just... Let me stop and start the conversation. Most machines... There are some machines where as soon as you snap that in place, it starts automatically winding. This machine doesn't. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sit here and I'm going to babysit it. And I'm not going to, this can go like that. Okay. I'm going to do like that. And I'm just going to hold it. I'm going to try not to move things. I have no idea why it did that. Every now and again, just the luck of the draw, your thread goes funny. We're going to hear all the weird noises. And we're just going to babysit it. So, hear the noise? That is just the bobbin flopping around. It's going to make a lot of noise. Nothing horrible is happening. And I have successfully saved my bobbin. So now, instead of that weird mess that I had, it's like that. Anyway, I know it's... See? And I've still got the other bobbin. Reason number 385, why you, why you always... I guess going to see the top of my head. Reason number 385, why you, why you always want to have a few extra bobbins kicking around. I know it's tempting. Uh, when, you buy a, when you buy a new machine, it comes with like, what, three bobbins or something like that? I know it's tempting to, um, it's really, really tempting to try and make just the three, two or three that come with the machine work forever and ever and ever. But you can get, you can get bobbins on Amazon. 
Um, just double check what the right size for your machine is. You can you can buy like a pack of twenty for like seven or eight dollars. If you're gonna if you're gonna get a machine, if you're gonna if you're gonna work on if you're gonna work on your sewing skills and your stuff and your things, then keep a few extra bobbins around. That's how you fix it. If we bobbin if your bobbin screws up and you don't think you can wiggle, sometimes you can just wiggle it back into place if you catch it right away. I didn't catch. I don't know why. I don't know what happened. Right. Sometimes you can wiggle it back into place, but if you can't, just go for, go bobbin to bobbin. Okay. That's it. <laughs> that is it. That is uh, that is your how to fix how to fix a fuck up 101. See you later. Don't forget like, subscribe, ring the bell, do all the things. You know, you know what I'm asking you for. Anyway, I hope that was helpful information for anybody who. Uh, now I know that there's some people when this happens, they just they sometimes some people will just throw away the entire bobbin, or they'll start getting in there with the scissors and just cutting it and ripping it. And anyway, so that's how it's done. It's not that hard. Go slow. Take your time. Stop if you have to babysit it a little bit, but it only takes a minute and yeah, that works. Anyway, now I have to go edit this so it actually sounds coherent. So yep, again, like, subscribe, ring the bell, do all the things and I will see you next time. Bye.